सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर डाइविंग इनटू द फैसिनेटिंग वर्ल्ड ऑफ एजिटेशन एंड मिक्सिंग इन वेरियस प्रोसेसेस एज यू माइट हैव हर्ड दिस टर्म एजिटेशन एंड मिक्सिंग सेवरल ऑफ टाइम्स एंड जनरली दे आर यूज्ड इंटरचेंजेबली बट दे आर नॉट द सेम सो विल फाइंड आउट वॉट इज एजिटेशन वॉट इज मिक्सिंग इट्स डिफरेंस एंड पर्पज ऑफ एजिटेशन इन दिस वीडियो सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Firstly let us clarify what is agitation here think about when you are cooking and you stir a pot of soup to prevent the ingredients from settling at the bottom that's agitation in action which ensure even heating and blending of the flavors so agitation refers to the induced motion of a material in a specific way typically in a circular pattern inside a container it's all about creating movement within the substance now let's talk about what is mixing Imagine that you are making a fruit smoothie. You are mixing various fruits, yogurt and perhaps some ice to create a delicious well blended beverage and this is a classic example of mixing in kitchen. Normally mixing involves the random distribution of two or more initially separated phase into and through one another. In simple terms, it is a process of blending different substances together. so this were the two individual definition of what is agitation and what is mixing so you might be thinking what is the difference here so here the key difference is that agitation involves moving a material around while mixing involves combining the different materials for instance if you have a tank of cold water you can agitate it by creating a motion within the water but it won't mix until you add something else to it like another liquid or powdered solid mixing can involves various combination of gases liquid or solid it could be mixing liquid with liquid gases with liquid or even solid with solids it depends on the specific process and materials involved if we consider mixing of a paint when you add color pigments to a can of paint and stir it thoroughly you are blending the pigments into the base solution this results in a well mixed paint which is ready for its application so it's a example of mixing so now after getting cleared about what is agitation what is mixing and the difference between agitation and mixing we are moving towards the purpose of agitation agitation serves several important functions in different processes such as suspending solid particles the example for suspending solid particle is suspension of dirt and water it's like the way a washing machine agitates clothes to remove the dirt and strain then the second purpose includes blending miscible liquids the example for blending miscible liquids includes methyl alcohol and water it is such like mixing oil and vinegar in a salad dressing to create a homogeneous mixture the third purpose includes dispersing a gas through the liquid in the form of small bubbles it's like the bubbling action in the fish aerator which ensures oxygen distribution for the fishes then the fourth purpose includes dispersing a second liquid miscible with the first to form a emulsion or suspension of fine drops it's like shaking a bottle of salad dressing to combine the oil and vinegar into a temporary emulsion and the last purpose includes promoting heat transfer between the liquid and a coil or jacket as often one agitator serves several purposes at the same time as in hydrogenation vessel the hydrogen gas is dispersed through the liquid in which solid particles of catalyst are suspended with the heat of reaction is removed simultaneously by the cooling coil and the jacket a real life example of agitation is that when you are using a washing machine it agitates your clothes moving them through the soapy water to remove the strains effectively so this were the few purposes of agitation in summary agitation and mixing are distinct processes with unique purposes agitation involves creating motion within a material while mixing involves combining different phases these concepts are essential in various industrial and everyday applications where precision and efficiency are vital so guys that's all for this video where we discussed about what is agitation what is mixing its difference and the purpose of agitation and stay tuned for our next video where we'll delve further into the subject of mixing and agitation 
In this series of upcoming videos, we'll explore various type of agitation, then discuss about swirling flow, then how to prevent vortex formation, what is the significance of baffles, then various type of mixtures, and many more topics related to mixing and agitation. So guys, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. For more informative content related to chemical engineering, process engineering, chemical safety, industrial safety. And as always, feel free to leave any questions or comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in next video.